let me lead off by saying just this. That you know, since I've uh, rolled into this job, I've had a lot of opportunities to come before you and say, boy, this is a big deal. And, and, and those days were really good. But I'm going to tell you that what I'm getting ready to tell you and bring these people up, this is an incredible deal. That's all there is to it. You know, today we're announcing uh, a broadband initiative that is going to happen, and it's going to happen right here in our state. You know, uh, Kevin, and I'm, I'm going to make sure it's Salvadori. Ah, how about that? I got to everything. <laughs> Kevin is going to tell us a whole lot more about it, but basically uh, Facebook is making an incredible commitment of dollars to our state, and they're going to build right across our state, and they're going to have in the lines, they're going to have room for us to do all kinds of different things. It's going to be probably Without, without question, the biggest initiative that we've had in the state forever. And Kevin is going to tell you that it is one of, I mean, one initiative that Facebook is doing for the very first time, and they're doing it in West Virginia. And, they, and, and truly, the, I, actually, I'm kind of fudging a little bit. It's really the second time, but it's an initiative that hasn't happened for a long time. And they're looking at other states and and then I hope he's going to say that, uh, you know, that working with our Commerce Department and the good people, you know, on the Commerce side and the, the openness that we have all put together and without any question with the great, great, great senator here that's just pitching for us like crazy. I mean, Shelly is, and I, forgive me for not calling her Senator Capito, but I'm going to call her Shelly anyway, you know, but she is without question an incredible superstar for this state. And Shelly, we thank you with all our souls. You know, you have been just, well, your family has been just everything with me forever. You know, I remember, like I said so many times, you know, your dad, my dad, and, uh, and, and just their closeness with one another, and it was good times, good, good times. But uh, nevertheless, you know, I, I, I could go on, and, and, and I think I'm going to rob time of people that know more. I can't thank Facebook enough. I can't thank Shelly enough. I can't thank our commerce people enough. You know, we have truly, truly, done something here that's going to give our citizens what we need so badly. Connectivity. Connectivity to the world. To the world. To be able to really market ourselves and our products and everything and just show everybody how great West Virginia truly is. So if Kevin could come up and he's going to tell us some neat stuff and I'll just sit back here and watch you do your thing. We are proud to be a global company, but our roots are right here in America. Which is why we are committed to creating long-term economic growth in local communities around the country. You can see it in the size of our U.S.-based workforce, which currently numbers more than 26,000 people. And you can see it in the scale of investment we've made in the U.S. economy. Over $100 billion and counting. This includes major infrastructure projects, like building and operating data centers in 11 different states. They alone have contributed more than $5.8 billion in GDP since 2010. Not to mention promoting job growth. For every one job created on-site, five additional jobs are supported elsewhere in the local economy. Small businesses are a big part of that. So to help them grow and thrive, we created a nationwide digital skills training program 
with a commitment to train 1 million by 2020. All across the country, we are making investments towards a brighter, more prosperous future. From jobs and infrastructure to commerce and entrepreneurship, we are helping the American economy grow. So uh, thank you again, uh, Governor. Uh, let me also thank Senator Capito, uh, Secretary Gonch, uh, and in his absence, Senator Manchin, as well as all of the other public officials who are here today. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. I know that each of you is working very hard to bring broadband to West Virginia, and we are delighted uh, today to partner with uh, the state to help make our part in helping build broad, bring broadband infrastructure to the state. So my name is Kevin Salvadori. I lead all of the network investments for Facebook around the world. So first, you know, broadband internet access, um, it clearly drives economic growth and drives jobs. And, um, but around the country, there's still many underserved areas, including here in West Virginia. And we're very excited about our partnership with West Virginia, and we're very excited to bring long haul fiber to the state. So we serve over 2.7 billion people uh, uh, around the world, and Facebook's network infrastructure is absolutely critical in enabling all of those people to connect, to share, to discover. Uh, and the network we're, we, we uh, plan on building in West Virginia will provide much needed scalable and resilient connectivity between our data centers and providing all those Facebook users with the best possible experience. However, when we innovate or invest in infrastructure, we also want to positively contribute to the broader community. So, you know, just in, as an example, we, we design uh, the most efficient and effective data centers and servers. We, we started doing that 10 years ago. And then we open sourced all those designs and gave it to the community so people could be more efficient at doing things them, themselves. Um, we're a major investor in subsea infrastructure, which some of you may not know. So our Morea cable, uh, which connects North America uh, to Europe, is become, has provided critical diversity to global internet traffic between the United States and Europe. And this build is also designed about how we can help enable the broader community. So if you want to think first about it, you really think of this investment in long haul fiber in West Virginia. It's almost like you know, an, an interstate for the internet. And you very much think of it, the analogy um, absolutely plays well. And it's going to provide connectivity to major internet net exchanges uh, around the US. And so that, that critical path is going to connect to some very important points, which is, is very important. But we've also planned our design so that uh, telecommunications companies, regional providers, local com providers can help connect into this. And then they'll be able to provide you know, broadband to people who live and work in regions around where we deploy our infrastructure. So it, it, we think that it'll be an ultimate significant net benefit to broadband infrastructure in West Virginia. Um, for us, when we do projects like this, we take a very pragmatic approach to um, infrastructure. And as, as the governor mentioned, uh, I'd like to thank him and his team, particularly in the, in the commerce area, because they have been absolutely a pleasure uh, for us to work with, very practical, and enabling this to happen for us. So. Uh, I'd like to just thank everybody with the state who's been involved in working with our team to make this happen. Uh, we're really thrilled to be here today uh, in Charleston. It was a little challenging to get here last night, but we're, ha we're very happy to be here. And then we really look forward to being here in the near future, not just when we break ground, but ultimately when we complete this infrastructure so it's able to be used by many people. So thank you so much. Senator, come and talk to us, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Governor, uh, for being Governor and doing uh, and having the, the vision and the energy and the foresight to know a good thing when you see it. And this is a great thing today. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Department of Commerce 
they've done a great job of talking with uh, Facebook folks and and crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's. And seriously, in our conversations this morning, they, in comparative to, uh, or, or they just remarked how absolutely cooperative and uh, exceedingly happy we are to to be working in this direction. And I want to thank the Facebook folks. We got Kevin, Kevin, Monique, um, Michelle, and Bo here. And uh, we appreciate you all. I know it's not your first visits for some of you, but we hope you'll come back many times. Uh, we, we would love to show you more of our wild and wonderful West Virginia. Uh, this is a great thing for us. I, I don't think it can be undersold. I don't think it can be uh, underemphasized. It, it, uh, it's something that I think uh, will help us do what I've been working to do through my Capito Connect plan, which is to get the connectivity to West Virginia. You have your Broadband Enhancement Council with Rob Hinton's doing a great job of uh, honchoing that. He has a vision like you do, Governor, of making sure that everybody in this state can have the access that we need. I asked, uh, Kevin mentioned that, what did you say, 2.7 billion. billion, billion people around the world. In West Virginia, it's over 500,000 Facebook users in our state. I mean, that's almost a third of our, of our state, oh, and gosh. it's probably um, growing every single day. So these substantial connectivity investments are absolutely critical to getting the business, tourism, agriculture, healthcare, education aspects of connectivity that we want so desperately here and that will help us um, grow and prosper here in the state. So I will have to say, I had the opportunity through my service in the Senate Commerce Committee to uh, question um, the founder of uh, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, when he came before the Congress. I was telling him this morning that there were 43 questioners because we had a combined uh, committees. Uh, I think it was judicial, it was a finance and commerce. I was, so we had 43. I was number 42 to question because my seniority is a little low over there. And I, you know, everything had been asked three or four times, but the one thing that's always burning with me is rural America and how do we get connectivity and we need every bit of help that we can possibly get. And I asked him at the time, I asked him for a commitment to be our partner in West Virginia. Look at us as a part of the Facebook family. And he had actually just visited West Virginia on his national tour when he had, uh, uh, when he was, I don't, he may still be doing that, I don't know, but he had just recently been in West Virginia. And he said to me at the time in the public hearing, he said, well, we're going to take this back and take a look at it. And so here we are today. Uh, so I want to thank him and Facebook. Whether it was ongoing before I had that conversation or not, we won't really get into that. Um, so anyway, I think we've had a lot to celebrate here today. Uh, there are a lot of federal opportunities for expansion of broadband through the USDA, through the Department of Commerce. Uh, we're working on it every day through my, I have a rural broadband caucus. But what this helps us do today is to go to our communities, to go to our internet service providers, our municipalities, whoever wants to expand broadband in their area where we don't have it, to say, look, we're going to have a major line coming through here. And if we're creative and use our heads and figure out a way to do it, this is going to, uh, this is going to be like a quarter of the, or no, three quarters of the way down the line in terms of connectivity. So again, Governor, thank you so much for your thank commitment, you. and th it's a joy to work with you always. And I want to thank again Facebook and the Department of Commerce for the great work. And I'd like to thank my office too, because my office works very much with a lot of your your folks in your office, and also with Facebook folks, to make sure that today. Um, I would like to thank also Governor. I know Governor Manchin's not here. Uh, but uh, I know he's very interested in the project as well. Thank you all very much. Yeah, thank you. Well, let me, uh, let me try to summarize. And you know me, I'm, I'm the folksy guy all the time. I'm the guy that would say the thing that I'm the most pleased about is just this. You know, I go back to the cows. And, and I think about, you know, the cows out there in the field. And I've told you this before, but if someone were to come to me and say, how many cows are out there? Well, you know, there's times within government, and I think Kevin would agree, there's times within government that what they want to do is count the legs and divide by four to figure out how many cows are out there, you know. Well, 
In West Virginia, at least today, all we're going to do is count the egg sucking cows. And we're just going to say there's 39 of them out there. Or in Shelly's situation, because she was the 42nd person to question Mark, there's 42 of them out there. And, and let me just say that just the, what all that means is this. Is I think Kevin would say a lot of times they go to states, and the reason maybe that they're right here right now is that through our Commerce Department, through our changing of laws to, uh, to allow stuff within the interstate, you know, corridors and all that kind of stuff that we have today, the right of ways and everything, we absolutely know, we know how important this is to our citizens. You know, we know how hard Senator Capito's worked and we know how committed Facebook is and we know that the project is surely going to cost significantly more than a big bread box. Now, with all that being said, we absolutely have got something here that will open us up, will be the beginning of something that is really, truly significant. So, Kevin, we thank you. And Shelly, we love you and thank you for all you've done. And all of y'all, you know, whether it be Michelle or Kevin, or was it, I forgot somebody else's name, you know. But, but anyway, for all of you, we really appreciate you. And Secretary Gaunch, thank you, sir. And, you know, and Mike, thank you for all you're doing. And just uh, thank all those that have made this a reality. I mean, crying out loud, this is great stuff. So, again, we'll answer your questions. Feel free to ask. And if I can't answer them, Kevin, you've got to bail me out somewhere. <laughs> and, and, and we're not going to take too many questions in regard to the project because uh, Kevin and them, you know, we want to honor what, what they're West are. Yes, sir. I might have missed it. Is there a specific dollar amount here? I, I, they don't really want me to say that, but there, but I think, I think it would be fair to say this, that, uh, <laughs> to repair the dome, you know, to repair the dome that we're working on costs a lot of money. And this is a multiple of repairing the dome several times. So I'll just leave it at that. Yes, sir. Are there any specific projects in mind for specific places you're going to lay down lines? Uh, well, Mark, I mean, I mean, uh, Jake, let me, let me say this. The, uh, I think Shelley probably said it the best. Once this, this artery is put in, and it's going to have availability for us to do more within the artery than, than because we're going to space in the artery. But once the artery is put in, then Senator Capito is correct. There are many different opportunities, you know, as far as grant opportunities, federal grant opportunities to do all kinds of different things and everything. But today, for us, it's, it's almost, and she hit the nail right on the head. You know, I'm thinking, well, you're not going to get the grant to do anything because you really can't do anything if you get the grant, you know, today. And so, so the, the net of the whole thing is you then you have a grant to nowhere, a bridge to nowhere. So you're not going to get the grant. You know, but now with this main artery going through, it just opens us up for a lot of, a lot of opportunities. Is there a timeline or? You have to give them the timeline. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to build this in the next 18 to 24 months. Pretty good stuff. Does that start building it or complete it? No, we will complete it. What exactly is the plan? I don't understand. It's a long ball fiber, but can you say something? Sure. Um, so. Now don't y'all beat Kevin up because he, <laughs> he, he's been so kind and he, you know. So these major arteries from a Facebook perspective are used to connect our data centers. So we will be connecting, we have data centers in Ohio, in Virginia, and North Carolina. And so West, West Virginia is a really important connectivity point for that infrastructure. And so 
this is basically going to be a very, very high capacity fiber cable that we build in West Virginia to connect those things. And it's like an artery, as the governor said, that you can connect to. And, and let me add this to it. Kevin committed. He's going to build a data center in West Virginia. <laughs> No, I didn't say that. We haven't, got, we, haven't got that we haven't got that rock solid commitment, but he said this is this is the first step. This is the first step. That's my next question. <laughs> That's exactly right. We're gonna get that done. This is the first step. Yes, sir. For the Luddites of the world, I mean, what does this do for people on the ground here? Um, so. I think solving broadband connectivity, there's not a silver bullet. It's, there's not a single solution to it. So, but, so you need actual access that comes local to people, you need middle mile infrastructure, and then you need major connectivity. And frankly, you know, there hasn't been major artery builds in the United States in 20 years. Okay, so this is one of the first significant ones in that period of time. And West Virginia wasn't built through 20 years ago. And so this provides one key element of making that happen. But our intent over time, you know, after announcing it today, is to work with regional and local internet service providers to figure out how we can work with them so they can get access to the artery on a reasonable term so they can lower their costs and help build out more broadband infrastructure and access for people. It, it's, so our, our engineering team at Facebook loves really super difficult problems. And so we've thought a lot about how we're going to engineer that to, to solve that. But we're, we're confident we can do that. It's not going to be the easiest build um, uh, that we've ever done, but we're pretty confident that we can make it happen. There was another recent announcement by another company talking about putting broadband through the state, pretty much connecting the same area. Um, are you going to work with them, uh, alongside them, or just with people? So we, we, we partner with that organization on several other things that we do and have a good relationship with them. These two builds are, are different and in different areas of the state. So it's actually, frankly, a double win for the state to end up with more than one artery. Let's ca clap for Kevin. <laughs> Again, you know, I, I think you summed it up, uh, you know, the very best into saying there's no one thing that can be done that will solve our connectivity in, f for everybody in the state of West Virginia. But this is a big one. This is a big start, you know, and, and this has all kinds of offspring that can happen from it. This is a big start. And, and like I said, it's a big commitment for them to just spend the dollars in West Virginia to construct. It's a big deal. And, and so uh, big commitment and I salute our commerce people and thank you again so much. All of you, thank you. <laughs>